హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ స్వాతి ఫార్మా జ్ఞాన్ షేరింగ్ నాలెడ్జ్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ యాంటీ హైపర్టెన్సివ్ ఏజెంట్స్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ బీ ఫార్మసీ అండ్ ఫార్మ్ డి ఆర్జుహెచ్ఎస్ సిలబస్ విల్ కంటిన్యూ విత్ ద ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ హైపర్టెన్షన్ వాట్ ఈస్ హైపర్టెన్షన్ వై వీ కెన్ ఆల్సో కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ బ్లడ్ ప్రెషర్ ఎ కండిషన్ ఇన్ విచ్ ద ఫోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్లడ్ అగెన్స్ట్ ద ఆర్టరీ వాల్స్ ఈస్ టూ హై ఈస్ హైపర్ టెన్షన్ this is the artery walls these are the artery walls this is a blood vessel when the blood is flowing through the blood vessel it will hit the walls of the arteries or it will hit the blood vessels so if that hitting or if that force is too much high then we'll call it as hypertension then what what is blood pressure blood pressure is pressure of blood exerted on the walls of the arteries when the blood is flowing through the blood vessels it will hit to the walls of the arteries and if that hitting is because of the high pressure then we will call it as blood pressure hypertension is defined as blood pressure above 140 by 90 and is considered severe if the pressure is above 180 by 120 so the normal blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm hg if it is above 140 by 90 then we'll call it as the person or the patient is suffering with blood pressure or hypertension if it is too much high then we have to tell him you have to uh, the patient has to be on the treatment hypertension has no serious symptoms but if it is untreated it can cause health conditions uh, such as heart disease and stroke if it is untreated then it will lead to some heart complications there are two types of hypertension one is primary hypertension and second one is renal hypertension what is primary hypertension the blood pressure is above normal for which no logical cause is known then we'll call it as primary hypertension if this hypertension may also be induced due to the pathological conditions of the kidney if kidney is showing some uh, pathological conditions because of that if we can observe the hypertension in the patient then we'll call it as renal hypertension what are the various symptoms of hypertension the various symptoms of hypertension or dizziness he will feel the patient will feel faint fast or irregular heartbeat can be observed he will feel sick feeling more thirsty than normal and blurred vision can be observed confusion and tiredness will be there breathing will be very fastly there is one pathway which is related to the blood pressure that is renin angiotensin aldosterone pathway this pathway controls sodium secretion and body fluid volume when blood pressure is reduced and sodium excretion is less lowered sodium excretion and reduced blood pressure then the release of renin occurs in our body this mechanism is natural mechanism which can takes place in our body if this is not in a this pathway is not in a normal condition then we can see the bp fluctuations release of renin occurs when the release of renin occurs it will activate the release of angiotensin angiotensin will also activate angiotensin 1 which is a peptide and next uh, angiotensin 1 will convert into angiotensin 2 by the enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme angiotensin 2 will again convert into angiotensin 3 angiotensin 3 will lead to blood pressure angiotensin 2 and angiotensin 3 both will cause vasoconstriction and aldosterone secretion vasoconstriction will lead to increased peripheral resistance aldosterone secretion will lead to increased cardiac output both increased peripheral resistance and increased cardiac output will lead to hypertension how we can define antihypertensive agents the drugs that are used to control we can not treat or we cannot completely cure the bp we can just control or we can manage the hypertension so that type of drugs are called as antihypertensive agents different types of antihypertensive agents are uh, available to treat hypertension they will work in different pathways or different ways to control blood pressure classification and structures along with the mechanism of action of each and every drug we'll see in the next video thank you